welcome to the next video, which this one is about your Twitter privacy settings. So very important to check these about once a quarter. We'll walk through just the privacy and settings feature in your account. As you can see, we are on Twitter right now. Interesting things in the feed. I'm going to click on my profile. Uh, so you can really just go to your profile. And that's where you can see yourself. That's me. Uh, check your stuff. Where you go next is the more tab. So you'll click on more and you're going to click on settings and privacy, All right? So again, there are several things in here you can go through. We're going to focus on privacy and setting safety first. So what we'll do is we'll click on the privacy and safety tab. So there are several things in here you can change, update, and should check on a quarterly basis. First of all, this one's interesting, protecting your tweets. So Twitter is a very public, fully public platform. All right. However, there are there's a tier lower than fully public you can employ, and that is when you protect your tweets. So if you were to click this box, essentially you would make it so the tweets that you push out are only visible to the people who follow you. But in addition, you're also making it so that anyone who wants to follow you, you have to approve each and every request to follow you. It gives you a lot more jurisdiction over your Twitter account who can see what you're tweeting. So you may want this. If you are a business who is looking for customers and is trying to grow your Twitter following, this is probably not the way you want to go. But everybody uses Twitter, so you can decide what you want to do. So you may decide you want to click that box your location information. You can choose if you want Twitter to add your location information to your tweets. Now essentially this is Twitter adding a little information if it can determine it with your phone in partnership with your phone. If you have location services turned on on your phone, uh, Twitter will grab that and put that uh, in little tiny print at the bottom of your tweet. It's not down to an address, but it will give a locale and just kind of anything it can recognize as a location. So keep that in mind. You may want to turn that off or on based on your purposes on Twitter. Photo tagging. So this is when, let's say you're out with your friends or out with a business gathering or whatever, and people take a picture and someone posts it to their Twitter account and they know your Twitter handle and they tag you in that picture. Uh, if you have this turned on uh, to allow people to tag you and receive notifications, they will tag you, but then you'll get an alert that they have. Um, if you prefer that only people who follow you can tag you, you can set that setting in here. Or you can just turn this off so nobody can tag you in their, in their pictures that they add to their tweets, okay? Uh, then we're getting into direct messages. So there is a, if, if this is turned on, on someone's profile, I have this turned on, uh, there will be a little DM or a, an email almost icon. That is so that anybody on Twitter, including people who don't follow me, can direct message me. Um, so if you have this checked, that'll allow any Twitter user to direct message you. If you have it unchecked, only people who follow you can direct message you. Uh, again, if you're a business um, who's providing any kind of service or customer interaction, I would probably check this box. Um, but then now you're probably thinking, well, God, I might get a lot. And how can I filter down what kind of direct messages I get? Then we get into the next one, quality filter. You can turn this on so that uh, Twitter will filter low quality messages. So if someone's going to spam you with something, um, you won't see that. Uh, plus, in Twitter, um, for, for people who don't follow you, you will get message requests. Uh, it'll parse those off. And then you can go in and look at those and kind of see, you can read the message, see the user, decide if you want to accept an interaction with them or deny it. And then show read receipts. What this will do works just like WhatsApp, uh, a little bit like Facebook Messenger, how you can tell who sees that. Uh, once you send a DM to somebody uh, uh, and once it delivers, a check mark, a single check mark appears. If they read it, a second check mark appears. So if by turning this on, you're basically saying, okay, they'll get a second check mark once I've looked at their DM that alerts them that they've that you've seen it. So decide if you want to turn that off or on. Discoverability and contacts. So you can decide if you want people to be able to find your Twitter account based on the email address you use for Twitter and or the phone number you use for Twitter. Uh, those have to be unique, by the way, for any accounts. Uh, that's been something that they've kind of uh, narrowed down on in recent months. And then safety. 
So you may or may not want to display media in your feed that could contain sensitive content. That could be violence, it could be sexual in nature, it could be pornographic, it could be anything. So if you're okay with that appearing in your feed, check this box. If you're not, uncheck it. Um, you can also mark media that you tweet as containing material that may be sensitive. And that's just keeping an eye out for your audience, your followers. If you know for a fact news organizations this falls very much into, or even medical, uh, if you know that you're going to be sending out stuff, hey, this might be a little Ugh, for some people, you can check that Twitter will say, hey, this is sensitive. We picked up this might be something you don't want to see. Really, it's just a little flag. The person would see that in the feed. They can opt if they want to keep scrolling or click to see the content. All right, these are, this is probably one of my favorite features of Twitter. So you can mute people. That just basically means you don't want to see their tweets. All right, so if you are following somebody or following people who are tweeting about other people, but you decide that you don't really want to see any evidence of that user in your feed, you can mute their account. It doesn't mean they're blocked. You can go find their account and go look at it if you really want to. It just means it's not going to show up in your feed. Um, and it even has it like if somebody retweets one of their tweets, it'll show that that tweet is not available. You can actually go click and say, well, no, I do want to see what that tweet was. Also, you can mute words. So it's our particular topics or themes, people, places, or things you don't want to see mentioned in your Twitter feed. You can add this to your muted words, and then that'll filter down what you do see in your feed. You have some control over your feed and what you're intaking through that. Then we get to blocked accounts. Um, so blocking does mean that person disappears for you on Twitter. You cannot go see their profile. You cannot find them if you search for it. And you absolutely will not see any evidence of them if you're in your feed. It is a full on vanishing cloak <laughs> for that person, okay? So uh, you can decide who you wanna block if you get to that point, but you can do that. I would, again, review that about every quarter just like the rest of these settings. Notifications, you can decide, uh, these are the notifications that might blow up your Twitter app uh, and decide, okay, do I want a quality filter so I don't get notifications for low quality content? Uh, you can check that on or off. There's advanced filters. You can mute notifications from people that you, that you don't follow, who don't follow you. Maybe they have a brand new account. You don't need to get alerted to that. Maybe they have a default profile photo. I have that turned on because that, that could mean they're a bot. They haven't taken the time to put a picture up. To me, that just kind of indicates, eh. Uh, who haven't confirmed their email or who haven't confirmed their phone number. You can absolutely add all these advanced filters so you don't get notifications for those certain categories. Again, it's just recapping the muted options you have there. And lastly, you have some push notifications, uh, SMS notifications, email notifications. All depends on how you want to receive alerts that new things are going on on Twitter. So you can do push through the app. Um, if you do that, it's basically going to say, hey, if you're not on Twitter, uh, we'll push notifications to you. I'm on Twitter a lot, so I have this turned off. If you want to get notifications via text, you can, or email, you can. Uh, I would recommend that if you just don't visit Twitter, but you do need to get alerted of certain things. All right. All right. So let me get down here. We talked about read receipts and uh, safety and notifications, search filters. So you can, again, if you're doing a search on Twitter, hide sensitive content that you don't want to see and make sure that you don't have blocked or muted accounts show up in your searches if you're searching Twitter for any particular thing personalization and data. This is completely up to you. Uh, I have all mine turned on, um, though now I'm looking at it and I think I'm actually going to make a change. Um, you can say that you want your feed, like ads and things like that, to be personalized. And based on places you've been, that seems, that's fine. It does mean they're tracking you. But I am going to uncheck this data thing because I do think that that is something not we don't pay enough attention to to, to protect. So. Um, that means that now Twitter can no longer track where I see content across the web and cannot share my data with business partners. Uh, so please do remember, go in and take a look at that. That's probably the biggest point on this whole thing is the data part. We'll do another video on Twitter for teams, but that's essentially everything that is about uh, your Twitter privacy and safety. So please set yourself a reminder once a quarter, go in, double check these, make sure everything is the way you want it and uh, you'll be doing yourself a favor. Please subscribe if you like this video, share it with somebody you know who probably needs this because they use Twitter a lot. And uh, we'll look forward to seeing you guys on our next videos. Thank you. You know, I've figured out, I think the secret to every person on the planet 
Nobody likes to feel stupid. So if this video helped you not feel stupid, uh, win. And please like it, subscribe to it, subscribe to this channel. Uh, let me know what you thought of it. And if there are more ways that I can give more videos that help us all feel like a little less stupid, um, or a better way to say it is smarter, I'm all for it. So put those in the comments too. Uh, look forward to making some more videos so we can all feel smarter and less stupid. Have a great day.